Hello guys, uh, welcome to this video. So we've got the Sigma 150 to 600 contemporary lens here. Um, I've got a little bit of a treat for you basically. I've got two extenders here. We've got the Canon Mark III 1.4 and we've also got the TC Sigma one, the TC 1401 um, 1.4 as well. It's actually a bit smaller than the actual Canon one. Um, we're going to have a look at image quality and compare these two side by side and because a lot of you guys have got Canon lenses already, like I've already got the 100 to 400 Mark II L lens. We'll be using the Mark III 1.4 extender with that lens. And when if you do get a super zoom like this, like the Sigma or the Tamron, you might think, I'll use my uh, Canon one. And I think a lot of you guys have wondered whether you should get the Sigma one as well. Because um, obviously this is going to be optimised for this lens. Um, so it should marry well with this lens better than the Canon. So I thought, without further ado, we'd have a look and see which one perform, performs better on a Sigma lens. Um, and then we can, basically it gives you an indication of whether you want to get the Sigma um, extender rather than the Canon one uh, to use with your Sigma lens. Clearly the Canon one will probably be designed better to work with a Canon lens but let's see how image quality holds up because we know Canon uh, make high quality lenses and, uh, and good extenders. This is the Mark III obviously. But I want to find out which is the better. So without further ado, let's jump to the computer and have a look at the image quality. So we're just going to have a look at some images here. We've got um, three images at 600mm and uh, about eight images at 840mm. So I just want to go through the images, um, you know, just to give you an idea on quality. So let's just have a look at 600 millimeters. We're focused on this starship here. So let's just zoom in there at 100%. And we're getting good detail. Um, and I like it. So let's move on to the next image, which is this uh, Voxer class uh, cruiser, Klingon ship. And let's go into 100% there at 600 millimeters on full frame EOS R we're on so that's 100% that's the the results we're getting from the 600 and then let's just go into the Voyager ship at 100% as well so that's the quality that the lens is rendering when we're cropping in 100% so let's have a look at the extender. Um, so we're on the um, Sigma TC1401. So let's just have a look at the image quality that we're getting at 100% here. So again, it's reasonably good, I would say. Um, so let's have a look at the next image. Now this is the Voxer Cruiser Klingon ship. Let's do, go into the 100%. Reasonably good detail. I won't say it's super sharp, but um, these are extenders on a 600mm lens. Uh, next image, obviously on the Sigma extender again. Let's go 100% on the Voyager ship, and that's the quality we're getting. So let's just jump to the Canon. So this is the Canon 1.4 Mark III. Let's just zoom in there, 100% again. That's the quality that we're getting. Looks reasonably okay. We're at ISO 1000, if you're wondering, on the EOS R full frame camera. Let's have a look at the next image, which is the same Klingon ship we've got here. Again, I focus at the same place. That's at 100% there. And the last image, let's just zoom into that. Again, 100%, the same place. So let's just briefly have a look at the different images that we've got. So this is at 600 millimeters where we've cropped in. Then that's at 600 millimeters, and that's at 600 millimeters. So we need to look at the Sigma extender now. That's the quality we're getting. It looks quite good. That's the Klingon ship. That's at 840 millimeters with the um, Sigma extender, and that's what we're getting with 
the um, Sigma extender on the Voyager ship. And that's the result we're getting from the Canon 1.4. So in order to compare, um, let's just compare it with the Sigma one just quickly. Very similar. Sig uh, Sigma Canon Sigma Canon. Okay, let's have a look at the next ship for a comparison. So that's the Sigma extender on the Klingon ship. Um, and let's just have a look at what it looks like on the Canon. Very, very similar. That's the Canon, and this one's the Sigma. So, not much of a difference there. I can't see much of a difference at all, if I'm honest with you, in the real world. Uh, let's have a look at the next image, which is the Voyager ship. So, that's the Sigma image. Let's have a look at the Canon. Again, in the real world, you can't really tell much of a difference. That's the Sigma, that's the Canon. Again, 100% and really struggle to see any difference between these extenders. Okay, let's have a look at the test chart. So this is the Sigma test chart that we're um, testing the um, 1.4 extender on. So all we need to do really is have a look at sharpness but to do that, we need to zoom in a significant amount. So let's first of all look at the corners here and see if we've got any difference. So that's at 200%. Let's just zoom into the Canon image. That's at 200%. So that's the Sigma. That's the Canon, that's the Sigma, that's the Canon. So it would appear that the Sigma extender is doing better in the corners because I can see a better pattern there and the number one is more well defined. Um, if we have a look at the Canon, it's a bit more blurred out. So clearly the Sigma extender is doing a bit better. Um, just, I think it's important to note that the Sigma extender is seven elements in five groups. The Canon Mark III extender is seven elements in three groups. So you've got two extra elements in the Sigma, even though it's about 30 grams lighter. Um, so obviously uh, the Canon one does seem to have, it seems to be a bit heavier for some reason. Um, but looking at that result there, it's, Seems to me that Sigma's better. Um, I also noted when I look at this pattern here, you can see that it's like a, a crisscross pattern on these rings. When we try and look at the same detail in the Canon, I'm not seeing a, a crisscross pattern. I'm seeing like lines going one way. So if you can see that in the Sigma there, and in the Canon extender, it sort of has lost detail there as well. Um, the good news is when I was looking at the center and we compared that to the Sigma I didn't I wasn't able to tell any difference really so that's the Sigma in the center at 300% and this is the Canon at 300% and um, it would appear to me center sharpness is very much similar or if not the same but um, around the edges, the, the Sigma um, extender does appear to be a bit sharper. So that's my roundup. I hope you found this informative. We'll have a look at some examples in, in a, a music video. And then uh, I'll wrap up this uh, review of the two extenders. And I hope you found this useful. And I hope to see you in the future. Thank you.
So having just been on the computer and we've looked at the image quality, um, it seems to me that the Sigma TC1401, I think that's what it's called, um, extender 1.4 works better with the Sigma lens than the Canon one does. Looking at image quality, there's very, very slight differences. I would say in the corners, uh, the Sigma is better. Uh, when it comes to the centre, I think the Canon is maybe a tiny bit worse, but we're talking about fractions of a percent. It's so small, you won't tell the difference. Um, so I'm thinking that you'll notice a difference in the corners with the Sigma, but you won't notice anything um, in the middle um, it, when you compare these two. So I hope this video was a bit informative. So if you do want to get the uh, um, Sigma one, get the Sigma one, you can use the Canon one, no problem. In terms of autofocus speed, I've noticed no major difference. They seem to autofocus the same speed. So I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.